Welcome now to a presentation of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, celebrated this Sunday morning for those who are unable to actively participate. Today's Mass is sponsored by the Sarah Club of Omaha in cooperation with 6 News WOWT. The Sarah Club of Omaha thanks the following sponsors for their generous support in presenting the Mass for shut-ins. The Sarah Club of Omaha also thanks those individual donors that make this program possible. Good morning. We are pleased to share with you the Mass of the Roman Catholic Faith. We especially invite you who are homebound or hospitalized to join in spirit all the faithful worshiping today. Our presiding celebrant is Father Walter Nolte from St. Patrick Catholic Parish in Fremont. He is assisted by our lectors, Sarens Vic Stevenart and John McCandless. Our musicians are from St. Stephen the Martyr Parish in Omaha. Our vocalist is Linda Leisner. She is accompanied by Saren pianist Paula Bonkowitz. And I'm your commentator, Kevin Cooper. As Holy Week begins, especially during these challenging times, we reflect on the image of the cross. It is a central theme of today's liturgy and of Holy Week. We are reminded that the cross can never be separated from the resurrection. And the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. My friends, let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to, to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us your body and your blood. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who as an example of humility for the human race to follow, caused our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross. Graciously grant that we may heed his lesson of patient suffering and so merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I might hear, and I have not rebelled, I have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheek to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from the buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help. Therefore, I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm is, My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? All who see me scoff at me. They mock me with parted lips. They wag their heads. He relied on the Lord. Let him deliver him, let him rescue him, if he loves him. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Indeed, many dogs surround me. A pack of evildoers closes in upon me. They have pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? They divide my garments among them, and for my vesture they cast lots. But you, O Lord, be not far from me. O oh, my help, hasten to aid me. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? I will proclaim your name to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, give glory to him. Revere him, all you descendants of Israel. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not deem equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found in human appearance he humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every other name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend, of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue profess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We're reading uh, the Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As soon as morning came, the chief priests with the elders and the scribes, that is, the whole Sanhedrin, held a council. They bound Jesus and led him away and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate questioned him, Are you the king of the Jews? He said to him in reply, You say so. The chief priest accused him of many things. Again, Pilate questioned him, Have you no answer? See how many things they have accused you of. Jesus gave him no further answer. So Pilate was amazed. Now on the occasion of the feast, he used to release to them one prisoner whom they requested. A man called Barabbas was then in prison, along with the rebels who had committed murder in a rebellion. The crowd came forward and began to ask him to do for them as he was accustomed. Pilate answered, Do you want me to release to you the king of the Jews? For he knew it was out of envy that the chief priests had handed him over. But the chief priests stirred up the crowd to have him release Barabbas for them instead. Pilate again said to them in reply, Then what do you want me to do with the man that you call the king of the Jews? They shouted again, Crucify him, crucify him. Pilate said to them, What evil has he done? They only shouted the louder, Crucify him, crucify him. So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas to them, and after he had Jesus scourged, handed him, him over to be crucified. The soldiers led him away inside the palace, that is, the praetorium, and assembled the whole cohort. They clothed him in a, in a purple, and weaving a crown of thorns, placed it on him. They began to salute him with, Hail, the king of the Jews, and kept striking his head with the reed and spitting upon him. They knelt before him in homage, and when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the purple cloak, dressed him in his own clothes, and let, let him out to crucify him. They pressed into service a passerby, Simon, a Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. They brought him to the place of Golgotha, which is translated place of the skull. They gave him drugged they gave him wine drugged with myrrh, but he did not take it. Then they crucified him and divided his garments by casting lots for them to see which what each could take. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they crucified him. The inscription of the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. With him they crucified two revolutionaries, one on his right and the other on his left. Those passing by reviled him, shaking their heads and saying, Aha, you who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, save yourself by coming down from the cross. Likewise, the chief priest with the scribes mocked him among themselves and said, He saved others, he cannot save himself. Let the Christ, the King of Israel, come down from the cross that we might see and believe. Those who were crucified with him also kept abusing him. At noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. At three o'clock, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lemi sabachthani, which is translated, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? 
Some of the bystanders who heard it said, look, he is calling Elijah. One of them ran, soaked a sponge with wine and put it on a reed and gave it to him to drink, saying, wait, let us see if Elijah comes to take him down. Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. The veil of the sanctuary was torn in two from top to bottom. When the centurion who stood facing him saw how he breathed his last, he said, truly this man was the son of God. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. How is your Lent going? Here at St. Patrick Parish, I've asked my parishioners about two or three weekends in a row to rate themselves on how well they are feasting on the Lord's love or fasting from those things that distract him from love. Five being going very well, haven't missed a beat. One going still, one meaning still need to do some work. So I ask you at home and those who are watching, how is your Lent going? Are you fasting well? Are you feasting on, God, on God's love well? It's not too late. The best way to fast and feast during Lent, I think, is to follow St. Faustina's advice. Jesus, in, her private, in a private revelation to her in her diary, said that a soul can, can attain more graces in one hour of focusing on the cross and his wounds than in a year of mortification. One hour over 365 days, that's a pretty good deal. Do you have a cross, a crucifix in your home or in your rosary? Then take it out and look at it and thank the Lord for his work there. Thank the Lord for all opening up his heart and in his heart opening heaven to you, to me, to us sinners. From where the cross says, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they do. They don't know how they hurt me and each other. They don't know how they fail to love me. They don't know how they fail to let me love them. Father, forgive them. Mercy is the hallmark of our Savior. Mercy is hidden in the Eucharist. It flows from his side as water and blood, sanctifying all of his people in his obedience, clothing us in his majesty out of love for us. Today we hear in the Psalm and in the Gospel, Jesus saying the words, my God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Of course, we know Jesus never felt that sense of abandonment. He was simply praying Psalm 22. And in fact, Pope Benedict says that, that Jesus on the cross enfleshes all of Psalm 22. The cry, of, the cry of, the, of the heart out to the Lord, feeling abandoned, but that after contemplation realizes that God was always with him and praises God for his presence in his life. So Jesus, in praying those words from the cross, is telling the bystanders, God is with him and God is with them to not lose hope, for God is about to work a miracle. Focus on the cross in your house. Focus on God's love for you. Focus on Jesus taking our fear, our worries, our sin to the cross and making us whole. Praise be the name of Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Trusting that our God is with us, we now in confidence place our prayers before his heavenly throne. We pray, we pray for the church, for Pope Francis, all bishops, priests, and those in consecrated life who are praying for the world in solidarity during these challenging times. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all those who have died and for their loved ones. We also pray for the sick, for all caregivers, doctors, nurses, and all those who are serving others. May they always be reminded of God's eternal love for all of us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
Let us pray that as Jesus laid down his life for us, may we find strength to sacrifice ourselves for others, especially the poor, the weak, and the unborn. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray for the needs of this community, our sponsors and supporters, and for you, our viewers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Loving God, we thank you for this time together, for the Mass that sanctifies us and makes us whole. May we never lose hope. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you for your support of the Mass for Shut-Ins. Since 1964, your prayers and generosity have helped the Sarah Club of Omaha bring the Mass to so many. We continue to pray for first responders, caregivers, and for the health and safety of all priests and those in consecrated life. The Sarah Club of Omaha thanks you again as we continue on our mission to support and pray for an increase of vocations to the priesthood and consecrated religious life with the spiritual intercession of our patron, St. Junipero Sarah. The Liturgy of the Eucharist now begins. Bless you, Lord God of all grace, because the bread of all virtue is given to you, and it's made to come for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, with goodness, the wine, the wine, the food, the food, the word, come for us our spiritual drink. Wash my iniquities and cleanse me my sin. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Through, this, through the passion of your only begotten Son, O Lord, may our reconciliation with you be near at hand, so that though we did not merit it by our own deeds, yet by this sacrifice made once for all, we may feel already the effects of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For through the innocent, for though innocent, he suffered willingly for sinners and accepted unjust condemnation to save the guilty. His death has washed away our sins, and His resurrection has purchased our justification. And so, with all the angels, we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which we given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to you that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered, to, gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not, not worthy that you should, should enter, enter under, under my, roof, my roof, but only say, say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Though straight and tall, so must we to others call. Let us pray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that just as through the death of your Son you have brought us to hope for what we believe, so by his resurrection you may lead us to where you call through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Look, we pray, O Lord, on this your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ did not hesitate to be delivered into the hands of the wicked and submit to the agony of the cross, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Oh, Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Go in peace. Thanks. Thanks be to God. Please join us as we recite the Sarah Prayer for Vocations. 
O God, who wills not the death of a sinner, but rather that he be converted and live, grant, we beseech you, through the intercession of the Blessed Mary Ever-Virgin, St. Joseph, her spouse, St. Unipero, Sarah, and all the saints, an increase of labors for your church, fellow laborers with Christ, to spend and consume themselves for souls, through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We thank you for joining us today in this great prayer of Jesus. It is a prayer that unites people throughout the world. We invite you to recite the Sarah Prayer for Vocations. If you would like a prayer card or would like to make a donation to the Mass for Shut-Ins, please contact us at the Sarah Club of Omaha in care of the Archdiocese of Omaha Chancery. One last announcement, there is a change in the time for the Mass for Shut-Ins for next Sunday on Easter. You have two opportunities to watch the Easter Mass for Shut-Ins. Mass will first be at 10 a.m. here on WWT and then again at 11 a.m. on COSY channel 6.2 or Cox Cable 120. Please join us at one of these times next Sunday, Easter Sunday, for the Mass for Shut-Ins. Good morning. I'm Omaha Archbishop George Lucas. The Sarah Club of Omaha, in cooperation with WOWT NBC Omaha, began airing the Mass for Shut-Ins in 1964. Each week the Mass is viewed by thousands in Nebraska and Iowa on WOWT and is also seen online by many others worldwide. Please know we are praying for you as you watch in your home or in other places, including retirement centers and in hospitals. We are indebted to our supporting sponsors, to so many parishes, and to you who for years have remembered the Mass with your prayers and gifts. We ask you for your continued support in order to serve all of our viewers. Thank you for your generous assistance and may God bless you and your family. Beyond the days of hope and mystery, we see a light of faith renewed. And in our longing, we thirst for guidance to walk with You've been watching the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, brought to you as a public service by the Sarah Club of Omaha in cooperation with 6 News WLWT. We hope you'll join us again next Sunday for the Mass for Shut-Ins.